1812 Caracas earthquake took place in Venezuela on March 26 on Maundy Thursday at 4.37 p.m. It measured 7.7 .7 on the Richter magnitude scale. It caused extensive damage in Caracas, La Guaira, Barquisimeto, San Felipe, and Merida. An estimated 15,000 to 20,000 people perished as a result. In addition to incalculable material damage, the seismic movement was so drastic that in a zone named Valicio a new lake was formed and the river Urubi was dammed up. Numerous rivulets changed their course in the valley of Caracas, which was flooded with dirty water. Based on contemporary descriptions, the earthquake is believed to have consisted of two seismic shocks occurring within the span of 30 minutes. The first destroyed Caracas and the second Merida, where it was raining when the shock occurred. Topic Response The destruction in Caracas was so widespread that the Gazeta de Caracas suggested founding a new capital city in dot the beautiful Catia where pure air may be breathed. Since the earthquake occurred on Maundy Thursday, while the Venezuelan War of Independence was raging, it was explained by royalist authorities as divine punishment for the rebellion against the Spanish crown. The Archbishop of Caracas, Narciso Col y Pratt, referred to the event as the terrifying but well-deserved earthquake, which confirms in our days the prophecies revealed by God to men about the ancient impious and proud cities, Babylon, Jerusalem and the Tower of Babel. The first international assistance received by Venezuela in response to the earthquake came from the United States. When the Congress convened in Washington decreed unanimously the sending of five ships loaded with flour, to the coasts of Venezuela to be distributed among the most indigent of its inhabitants. This $50,000 was the first ever instance of U.S. foreign aid. See also List of earthquakes in Venezuela List of historical earthquakes